Greetings, mathematicians. This is Mrs. Mounts, and I am excited to start this new unit on transformations. There are four different types of transformations, and today we are going to go over translations. All right, let's get going. <laughs> Launch me. All right. Probably can get this one. You got it. All right, let me get um, my uh, station set up here. And what I'd like you to do is make sure you have two different colors and a ruler. Okay, two different colors and a ruler, and you will be set. Okay, so let's get to it. Now, a translation is really just a slide. It's the same shape. We're just gonna put it somewhere different on the coordinate system, okay? So we're gonna move this object in the same direction and the same distance. And how we can describe it, we're doing something with X, which is moving it left to right, and then we're doing something to the Y, which is moving it up or down. Now it can't just move left or right, or it can move just up and down, or it can do a combination, okay? So let's take a look at some examples here. All right, so quadrilateral ABCD has vertices, and so we're going to go ahead and fill in our chart here. All right, so I'm gonna use blue. Now this would be called the pre-image. Okay, so you can fill in your chart. Uh, these are the actual ordered pairs for each of the vertices. And again, just feel free to pause the video at any time. And we are try going to try to get the new coordinates. And this is read as A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Okay, so I'm just going to make a note here for you is red a prime so that little tick there just means prime and so that's going to be our new image now the translation here it says hey we want you to take your x and add 12 you're going to take your y value and subtract 5. Okay, so again, I'm just going to fill in this chart. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see it. So what I am doing, this is my X. This is my Y. So I am going to substitute in these values. Negative 1 plus 12, comma, put the comma in the wrong spot. Sorry about that. Okay, so again, just filling in the chart. So I'm substituting 2 in for x, 2 plus 12, and then I've got 12 minus 5. 5 plus 12, 8 minus 5. And then my last one, negative 1 plus 12, negative 2 minus 5. So now our image is we just solve it. For x, negative 1 plus 12 is 11. 8 minus 5 is 3. Now that gives us a prime. 14, 7, b prime. 17, 3, c prime. And 11, negative 7. So all I did was I simplified each of these, and these would be the new coordinates. Now on the next page, we're gonna actually practice. We're going to get the pre-image and then the image, and it should just be the same shape. We're just gonna move it somewhere in the coordinate system. All right, so example two. So we're gonna actually graph this. Now I'm gonna put the pre-image in, so we'll use two colors on this one, okay? So my pre-image, I'm gonna just put in our ordered pairs. And 
and I'm going to plot those. Just to remind you, this is x, this is y, plus, go to the right, minus, go to the left, up is positive, yeah, uh, negative is down. Okay, always start at 0, 0. We're going to plot negative 1, left, 2, up 2. Now, I want to go ahead and label that A. Negative 1, positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Label that B. 4, 6. Start at 0, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. Up 6. That's our C. And then 4, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, at any time, feel free to pause. Okay, we just have to get those plotted accurately. Now I'm going to use a ruler. This is a quadrilateral, four sided shape. Boom. All right, got her done. Okay, so let's see what they want us to do to translate this thing. Okay, so I'm going to grab a different color. They want us to take x plus 3, y minus 1. I'm going to fill in the chart. I'm just substituting. And then we'll get our values. All right, now let me just double check everything. All right, so we're adding three to everything. We're subtracting one um, on the Y values. All right, let's see what we get. So we're gonna get two, one, and I'm gonna label that A prime. We're gonna get two, four, B prime. We're gonna get seven, five, C prime. And then we're gonna get seven, one. And that's going to be D prime. I'm going to plot the points, and it really should end up just being the same shape. They're going to be congruent. <laughs> We've learned that word in the last unit. So that means that they're going to be have the same angle, and they're going to have the same length on their sides. Okay, so 2, 1. And make sure you label that. That's A prime. And then 2, 4. B prime, and sometimes these overlap, and that's okay. Seven, five. There's our C prime, and then last but not least, our D prime is seven, one. Okay, so I take my ruler, grab it here, <laughs> kind of stuck there. Okay, and go ahead and Nice straight sides here. I've got that little angle from D prime to C prime. And awesome. It is the same shape. Uh, shape. We just ended up translating at three to the right and one down. All right, great. We have one more example. Now, really what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try it on your own, okay? So um, I'll help you get started. So I'm gonna use blue. We're going to put in our pre-image values. Okay, and then you want to plot those, you want to plot those four points. And then our translation this time is going to be X plus two, Y minus two. All right, so I'd like you to pause the video right now and I want you to practice this. All right, Matthews. So we'll see how it went for you. All right, so here's our original quadrilateral in blue. 
that is our pre-image. And then our image, which has the A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, it's just the same shape. We just ended up going to the right two and down two. All right, so now you know all about translations now. So I'm going to have you cut this in half, cut on the dotted line, and get that glued into your notebook.